Hello guys and welcome to two days of cleaning. I'm going to bring you lots of motivation. I'm going to be cleaning the whole house. I have just let things go with packing and moving and just making decisions on the new build. I definitely need to start getting this place clean so when the new people come it's not a mess and I don't have a lot to work on. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So if you're new here I would love for you to subscribe but let's jump straight into today's video. Okay, so as you can see, I'm currently living out of some boxes here in my beauty room. I also have some tubs. Um, most of these are from our laundry room, but the new space required a little bit bigger tubs and those don't fit in my current house, like in the cabinet I had them, so I'm just leaving them in here. But I did wanna go ahead and at least get them tucked in my closet just so my room does feel clean when I walk in because clutter makes me crazy and I'm sick of looking at them. Plus it does have like a lot of medicine and first aid, so I just wanna know they're in the closet behind closed doors. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my jaws cleaner so I can start wiping things down. It's been a hot minute since I like actually clean sprayed some of my items, especially in my beauty room. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that. I really like the Jaws glass cleaner. I feel like I use it as like my all purpose cleaner when I just wanna do a lot of cleaning, but I don't wanna switch a lot of products. I can grab it and use it on mirrors. I use it on some of my furniture and it always does really well. I really love this piece. If you guys didn't see me do like the DIY makeover on it, you definitely need to go back and watch it. It was like the ugliest wood desk and we got it for super cheap and I painted it and added new hardware. And then I just did a marble top with contact paper and it looks so much better, but there is not a spot for this in our new home. So I'm gonna be selling it soon. So I definitely needed to clean it anyway so I can list it here in the next couple days. And then I'm gonna go ahead and work on this mirror. I swear no money times I clean this I always come back and it's dirty like George likes to put his nose on it and this is where I stand and put on my eyelashes and for some reason my black eyelash glue always gets on it so I do clean this pretty often Real quickly, I wanted to remind you about the planner that I use and love. It's from Personal Planner and it's all customizable. So you get to choose the start date, what it looks like, all the extra pages in the back, and they are great quality. I love them and no matter what you choose, it's all one set price, which I love. So definitely don't forget to click on the link down below and check them out. They're actually printed in Sweden, which I love. I have a few subscribers from there. So definitely click on that link and you can use Ashley Plan to get 15 percent off your order. So thanks to Personal Planner for sponsoring this segment of today's video. You made me come undone. Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. Oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. So as 
as you can see, I'm still using that same Jaws glass cleaner, but I have two rags. So I have like a soft rag when I'm working on furniture, but then I also have my e-cloth window rag because I love that when it comes to like mirrors and glass. So I just carry both around. Then whichever one I need, I can just grab, but I'm using one product. And then one more thing about personal planner, I also wanted to let you know that we've teamed up and we're doing a giveaway over on Instagram. So definitely click my Instagram link down below if you want to head on over there to get entered to win. Trying to keep order while we're trying to pack and move is so hard, but when I have so much clutter, it really does affect my mood and kind of my headaches. I feel like I'm staying calm and I'm not like having any meltdowns, but I have had like constant headache lately and I know it's just from the stress of like clutter and packing. So just getting my workspace clean felt so good and it didn't take much. I just needed to wipe everything down, do a good vacuum and hide everything in my closet. So definitely clear your workspace if you need to. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take some disinfecting wipes. I feel like it's been a little while since I disinfected those you know highly touched areas. So while I have this room clean, and it's somewhat organized. I know my closet's not, but at least when you walk in, it looks nice and clean. I wanted to get it disinfected too, just so it feels nice and clean and safe and just a calm place to be working. Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. When it's time to take out the trash, I just always take the trash bins and put them by the front door for Chase. This is just like a visual reminder to him. He needs to combine them and take them outside. He's very like out of sight, out of mind. Like he doesn't think to go check the trashes, which I totally get. And he's not back here in my room and bathroom much. So I like to just put them out there for him. And then he knows obviously it needs to be taken out. I also do this with bugs. Like I just cover him with stuff. And then as he walks around, he knows like if there's a shoe out or just like anything covering it, he knows what to do. I think it's funny as just like married couples, just the little things you have that work. <laughs> and this is just one of those things. I just put it by the front door and then it gets taken out but now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the laundry real fast and then I'll be headed into my bedroom wipe down our side tables. I will say mine gets dirtier than Chase's. I'm one of those I have to go to bed every night with a water and sometimes you get those rings, um, little stains around from your cup and I'm in and out of my nightstand. I like to keep like chapstick in there and hand lotion. I don't know at night I just have my own little system where Chase isn't like that. He just keeps like all the remotes over there on his side so I tend to get a little messier on my side but I'm gonna go ahead and wipe them both down.
I feel like I've been getting a lot of questions if the fireplace is going to be moved to the new house. It is. So what's amazing is this piece is going to be in three homes, which for me is a huge deal because I don't keep anything. So it was in our last home, it's in this home, and it's going to be in our next home. Now we do have a fireplace. I get asked that a lot. So I don't know if anybody wants to make their guesses down below in the comments section of what room it's going to be going in or what area. I'm just curious to see what you guys are all thinking. From me to be my everything cause you are only a shot away from me to be my everything you are only a shot away now i'm gonna take those same disinfecting wipes and just wipe down all those highly touched surfaces so anything we touch daily like doorknobs light switches drawer knobs lamps you know like where you go to turn them on and off i'm gonna be doing remotes I just feel so much better when I have this clean space and then I come in and disinfect it. I know some people disinfect before, I've just always done it at the end, so it's just whatever preference you have. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start working on folding all the laundry. I change my spaces. Sometimes I do this in my beauty room. Sometimes I do it on my bed. Sometimes I'm in here in the living room. I just like to change it up occasionally so it feels like it's new and fresh because I don't think anybody just like super enjoys folding laundry, but I just kind of keep it new and do it in different spaces. Um, you can see we put up our Christmas tree. If you missed that video, I'll have it linked. Um, down below for you so you can check it out. So we are decorating this house and our next house So you will have like two Christmas decorates with me, which is super fun this year You guys are like getting a bonus <laughs> content for Christmas, which I think is fun and exciting So I like to keep it super neutral You can see and I talk about how I decorate it and kind of the style and what I look for So if you're interested you can check that out But also let me know have you put up your Christmas tree yet or do you wait until after Thanksgiving? So as you can see, I fold all the laundry in the house. Now typically if I'm busy, my family will help me. It's just kind of whoever has the time that day. But typically we don't put each other's stuff away. So whoever folds it just puts it in the person's space. So like I just put it on Savannah's bed or our bed. If Chase folds it or Savannah, they'll just put it in my laundry room. We kind of all have our own systems and where stuff goes. So it's like we just get it folded and put in the space and then the person can actually put away their own items. Plus that's super helpful. So obviously on my stuff, I'll actually take the time to hang it and put it up. But when it comes to like Chase and Savannah's stuff, I just put it on their beds for them. Broken In the new house, I'm actually gonna be in the master closet again, which I'm super excited about, a little bit nervous. I've really enjoyed having my own space, but the next one's so big, it's actually gonna be able to handle both of our clothes, so I don't think it's gonna be an issue at all. Like our current one, it was just smaller and our stuff was crammed, it just wasn't working. So I'm really excited to be back in the master. I did give a sneak peek of it in my most recent vlog. It's like moving life, so if you wanna check that out and just see a sneak peek clip of what the closet looks like, you can definitely head on over and watch that video.
We're heading on on to day two. This one's gonna be a little bit more deep cleaning. I felt like yesterday was just kind of getting the house picked up, but today I'm gonna be doing some deeper clean items, which is typically normal here. I like to get the house really clean, then I can deep clean it. It's really hard to do both at the same time. I wanted to go ahead and get this rug shampooed so when we move it, we just know it's nice and clean and ready to go. Once it dries out, I probably need to go ahead and just pull it out from underneath the bed and get it rolled up and put it in the garage so it doesn't get dirty again. Just taking the time to do this stuff, you know, a few weeks before we move saves us that stress at the end. So like I said, I'm just trying to clean as much as we go for us and the items we're taking as well as the house for the new people. I don't want them to walk into like a dirty house. I want their house to feel new and fresh just like our new home's going to be. So I'm definitely getting it as clean as possible for them. So now that I got our bedroom rug done, I also wanted to work on our dining room rug. Both of those are coming with us. Our living room rug is going to go with us, but I did order a new one just because our living room is pretty much all going to be the same because we're taking all the same furniture. So I like to at least add one new new thing to every space just to kind of make it feel new and fresh. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be using that rug or not. So I'm not really going to clean it yet. Plus we're still on it a lot. But this one I like to go ahead and get clean. You can see all this clump right there just from the voice. I vacuum all the time, but when you're um, shampooing, it really gets that fur up. Um, I also think it's funny that this rug looks so clean, but as I'm vacuuming or shampooing, you can see like tons of dirt come up. So I'll go over a white spot, but all this dirt comes up and I didn't even know it was like down in it. So it's really good to shampoo your carpets even if they don't look dirty, because sometimes they are just deep down. Honestly, both of these rugs did not look dirty. They look clean, but every time I use the shampooer, it cleans up so much. Like, look how dirty that water is. It's even got clumps in it. Um, they always dry out quickly too. Like my rugs after shampooing them, it does not take long at all. Now I do go over them a lot just to make sure I suck up as much as water as I can since we're on our wood floors. It always freaks you guys out, but when I lift up my rug, it's not wet underneath because I like spray out the liquid and then I suck it up immediately and I kind of go different ways and so it dries out super quick. So I'm going to go ahead and put the chairs back on it and then start cleaning up. So my countertops have just been so dirty lately. I feel like I typically clean them like three or four times a day, but we're just not here much anymore. We're running errands. Um, I'm just not wiping them down as much and they just get so dirty, but you don't see it. These granite countertops have been amazing because they can feel dirty, but they never look dirty. We did go with something different in our new house, so I'm curious to see if it's gonna hide the dirt as well. Honestly, I hope it doesn't. My countertops are not some place that I wanna hide dirt and food. I like making sure they're nice and clean, but I am curious to see how it goes in the next home.
to my countertops, I am using their granite cleaner, but it's good on like all different surfaces. You can look on the bottle or click on the link down below in my description box. But I wouldn't use like the glass cleaner in here since they have like a special granite cleaner. I definitely try to baby my countertops. Um, I haven't sealed them lately. I think you're supposed to do that once a year, but I also don't have any issues with them staining. Now I'm gonna head into my laundry room. I've been cleaning the grout slowly. You can see right here where I got to last night and stopped. So I'm definitely gonna finish it out. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to keep this house super clean for the new people and the grout is one area I have never cleaned in my home. So I just take the barkeeper's friend and an old toothbrush and they clean up really nicely. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Once I finished in my laundry room I did go on to my bathroom because I had started working in there as well and there was a few spots I missed. Definitely right up there close to the tub I forgot to do and it was kind of dirty. This really does not take much time at all and it makes a huge difference. I forgot we didn't have like dark grout. I thought it just came that way. I forgot it was like white like the tile. I probably should have done this a few years ago but at least it's getting done for the new owners. Now I'm just gonna wet an old towel. This is just an old towel we had out in the garage and I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe it all up. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Now I'm gonna head into our guest bathroom and give it just a real quick speed clean and make sure everything's wiped down. This is one of the rooms I'm gonna pack up really soon and go ahead and shut it down. I'm gonna get everything packed up, everything clean and spotless, and then I'm gonna close the door because we have two other bathrooms we can use in this house. I'm gonna start doing this with all the like least important spaces in our house. Then on moving day, I'll just have a few rooms that we have to basically move stuff out of and clean. I'm trying to make moving day as easy and simple um, as possible and I want to leave this house as clean as possible but when we're moving I don't want to worry about like moving everything out and cleaning this entire house before I can get to the next house a because I want to get to my new house and B I know that people want to get in here quickly so just taking the time to go ahead and shutting down those rooms we no longer need will really save us on moving day so that's a little tip if you guys are moving in the near future Typically, once I have that glass cleaner in my hand and my e-cloth rag, I start cleaning all my windows or any dirty windows at least. Um, because of George, these back windows get his nose print all on them and my back door and then my front window where he watches like all the deliveries come. So it's not like every window, but he does have his main windows that I try to wipe down. I feel like your house can be spotless, but then if you have like gunk all on your windows, it can just make it feel dirty. So I try to clean those spaces. I decided 
decided to go ahead and wipe down all my wood furniture as well just to keep it nice and clean. Um, this dresser isn't too dirty because we just DIY'd it but I definitely want it to stay that way so to keep something looking new and fresh is just to clean it constantly so it never gets too bad and there's something about just having a nice clean living room. I feel like it's been a long time since I actually like sprayed the furniture, wiped it down and like mopped and vacuumed. Um, I used to be so good about keeping my floors clean but it's just been so busy. It's the easiest thing to like cut and I swear I haven't mopped my floors in probably like three weeks. Probably the last time you guys saw me do it on a video was the last time I mopped. So these floors were not clean at all. Now I haven't mopped my floors in a while, but I do vacuum every single day. If I don't vacuum every single day, I think my floors would be like white from either like dust or Georgia's hair. So I do like to vacuum these floors once a day. It gets in all like those corners and nooks and crannies and underneath furniture. Um, so sometimes I do it with my vacuum. I like to do it this way. And then sometimes it's just relaxing to use a broom and a dustpan. So I definitely do it both ways. Obviously the vacuum's a little bit faster and less work, but sometimes it's just really calming and soothing to do it with a broom itself. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my mop head wet. Yes, I only use water to clean my floors. It's just a special mop. I'll have it linked down below in my description box, but I've been using it for years and love it. Um, my floors never get sticky with this, so this is the only thing I use. It's super easy and super simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on these floors. Thank you so much for making it to the end of today's video. I appreciate it more than you guys know. Um, it felt so good to get these floors nice and clean and shiny again with no footprints on it. I think it lasted a whole three minutes, but I enjoyed those three minutes like you wouldn't believe. Um, don't forget, I have my personal planner link down below in my description box, and I'll leave the code as well, but it's Ashley Plan for 15% off your order. It is really high quality and completely customized. So if you're looking for a good planner, definitely check it out. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.